coaches last year. So taking it day by day um, and really enjoying every moment with this team, with these coaches. Because it's, it's a special year, um, especially after last season, not having fans and just the, the overall COVID environment. Uh, I feel like this season is it's just a, it's a combination of a lot of exciting things. So we can't wait to get going, but we're going to enjoy every second before it. Are you and your teammates feeling any extra pressure at all? You know what I mean? With everything that is, is at stake. You want to send Coach Gaddy, you want to send him out with a national championship. Yeah. Do you guys feel any pressure at all to, to make sure this his last season is maybe his best? I wouldn't call it pressure. Um, I said it, it maybe gives us a little bit more focus. Um, every day when we come in to practice, we're, we're locked in. We know, I mean, we want, we want to give them a, a great season. Um, so we're taking it day by day, extra focus, working hard. And uh, we know if we, if we do those things, the, re the rest will take care of itself. But uh, I wouldn't call it pressure. What is the number one thing that you, the players can do to, to maybe take some of that focus off once the season starts? What's the number one thing you guys can do? Um, following coach's lead, he's been he's been doing this for so long, and um, I mean, there's obviously going to be a ton of hype this year, but I, I feel confident that, that he'll know how to lead us and, and guide us. So, um, following his lead and, and just remembering what we're doing here, we're here to play basketball and win games. And, um, it, it's easy to get far away from that with all the, the media hype that, that we'll get this season, but um, we're here to play basketball and win and compete. And so, remembering those things. And uh, it's a game that we love, and just not getting away from that, that'll, that'll hold us down this year. Joe, I got three quick questions for you. Um, you talked about the fans coming back. You talk, what's your excitement level talking about um, fans coming back and playing a full of a full camera indoor? What's, what's that going to be like this year? It's going to be incredible. Um, last year, the camera was pretty much empty the whole year. <laughs> uh, I don't even think our parents could go to the game. So just having people back in there um, it gives us so much energy. And momentum. And, uh, I think we one of the breakout rooms earlier today. We were talking about like what the fans mean, and I was having like some flashbacks of moments where <laughs> you know you hit a big shot and they just go crazy. Then you get a couple stops and score a couple more times, and then all of a sudden you're up ten. And it's not as close of a game anymore, and, and that type of thing just didn't happen last year without the fans. So um, having them on our side. And, Carrying momentum over will be huge for us this year. Growing up, who are some of your basketball idols, some people that you looked up to that you try to emulate your game after? Uh, I watched a lot of basketball growing up, but um, I loved uh, Shire and Nolan. Their time at Duke, they had incredible teams. So, um, I mean, there are a lot of people. Gotcha. Man, what, what's your favorite place to go after a game, post game meal, post game restaurant? Post game? Uh, love Chick fil A if it's open. It's a, <laughs> never had bad Chick fil A. Thank you. What are some of the things that you've worked on? You said this is your senior year, you kind of don't want it to start, but when it comes to your personal game, what are some of the things that you focused on this offseason? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want it to start. <laughs> it's clear that I can't wait for it to start, but I'm, I'm soaking in every moment. Um, in terms of what I've been working on, just overall game, defensively being able to, to get stops on people, um, making the right play, just trying to evolve. Um, in every area, then focusing on being being a good leader, um, always talking, having a voice, and uh, just setting a good example for, for our team. What do you think the identity of this squad will be? I know it's early, but what are you seeing from the guys in practice? Um, our guys, we're tough, willing to do whatever it takes to win, um, and we're just going to get after it defensively and offensively and, and play our play as hard as possible. Um, very, very competitive team. So. At the team, you talk about competitive, at the, at the you guys' media day, Paolo gave off an energy that was very competitive. Very, yep. uh, could you describe him kind of as a player and as a, as a person? Yeah, I mean, Paolo's special. He's got a, he's got a unique skill set for his size um, on the court. And I think most people kind of know what he can do on the court, but I've, I've told people, you know, off the court, he's got a great head on his shoulders. Um, he's a he's a humble guy, um, and he's he's incredibly competitive. He works hard every day, and so just having that combination um, in the locker room to go with all the other guys has been amazing. We have a we have a great group. I have a few unconventional questions: a Netflix and chill or a night out? Town? <laughs> I'd rather be in the gym. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, so would you rather have online or in-person classes? In-person, for sure. I like that, that hands-on experience.
Would you rather get dumped on or crossed over? Neither. Neither. You won't pick one? No. Uh, actually, thank you. Thank you. Joey, how would you describe what Coach K means to do basketball and, and what he means to you? Yeah, I mean, Coach, you look at his career at Duke and what he's been able to accomplish over the years. And, I mean, it's, it's incredible. The players that he's had through the seasons, the championships, all of it. Um, I mean, it's, it's incredibly storied, incredible history. I'm sure there will be documentaries on it one day. Um, so just thankful to be a part of it. And um, he's, he's been an incredible uh, coach for me personally, just over the years, grown up so much, learned so many valuable lessons that will carry on for the rest of my life, even when I'm done playing basketball. So uh, I'm just thankful to be a part of, of his of his story, and uh, even if it's just for a small part, thankful. Joe, how much growth have you seen from Wendell from the end of last season to now? Yeah, I mean, Wendell's really worked. Um, I think he said in the interview earlier, he's, he's shown flashes of, of what he can do. Um, but he's he's put it together. I think where he's he's every day consistently um, making the right play, and he's gotten more athletic. He's shooting the ball really well, and, and I think that's all a result of his confidence. And, and I think the confidence is a result in the work that he's put in. He's, he's been grinding this past season. Is confidence the biggest thing that goes into turning the flashes into consistent day in day out. I'd say yeah. I mean you can't you can't get much done without confidence. Um, and he's, he's definitely gained in that area. And, he, I mean, he's got better, too. He's, he's a great player um, on the court and then off the court. He's been huge for us leading as well. Coach is known for those, um, like, one-on-one -on -one meetings and phone calls or letters, even where a guy may be feeling down for a while and all of a sudden he's able to lift the spirits. Have you experienced that over the course of your time where maybe things weren't going great and he reached out to you and kind of turned things around for you? Yeah, I mean, Coach is... I mean, he's been doing it for so long. He knows how to get the best out of his players. And so um, just knowing he's there and he wants the best for us, um, just a constant reminder of the conversations you have, like after practice or something like that. He's just constantly trying to, to move on and, and get, go, get things going. So I mean, I'm thankful for, the, for that.